What's up? Welcome to another siege video. So unfortunately, I couldn't record this siege because I was ill for last two days. Uh, so short story, uh, I just felt uh, dizzy and the dizziness won't even uh, go off. So I went to doctor and uh, yeah, I needed uh, to take a break for one week at least uh, from the work as well. So yeah. Uh, I played all my sieges at the bed, <laughs> so yeah, uh, maybe some misplays, maybe not, not really some misplays, I think I played pretty decently, but yeah, let's see, let's play and let's see, uh, we are up against AF Soleis and Nefarious 2, and uh, here are some of the defenses, it was Dark Siri with um, the Chilling and the, the Wind Girl, I have no idea, I think it's Cichlid. And over here some backlines, I didn't manage to record um, whole thingy. And over here some annoying Odin defenses. And let's see the ranking, we are rank 3 at the moment. And uh, if, not if Legends, but if Solace is rank 12. And Nefarious 2 rank 16, let's see how this siege goes. Okay, so this was the first attack, it was against Kiki, Bianchul and Liu Mei. And over here I used Veromos with uh, Juno and Camilla, which I cannot really show. Um, yeah, so the plan over here is just to... Um, we have a lot of cleansers, we have a lot of healers. And by the way, I think this Liume went crazy here, I have no idea. <laughs> and first of all, I just focused on this Kiki, uh, which she will be uh, most annoying. And this Byungchul will always crit uh, our Camilla. And we are kinda, you know, safe um, from safe from uh, the debuffs so we will always get cleansed and uh, those sort of things anyways yep look at this freaking Lume dude it's just crazy I think she knows that I'm in um, trials so she wants to put me down <laughs> okay just S2 and just keep attacking this Kiki and uh, yeah I mean I, I attacked a lot of Kikis, I think, this siege, uh, which is crazy. A lot of people have, I mean, whole towers were just Kikis and uh, Byungchul's, and Byungchul it's one of the best, probably the best um, normal element uh, unit for siege defense at the moment. If you have him, don't miss out. In my opinion, he will, oh, look at this, dude, three times, like, stop it, <laughs> it's not fun. If you have Bianchel, be sure to use him. I don't think he'll be. I mean, patch just came out and uh, he didn't. They didn't touch him, so I assume that he, they won't touch him even in the next patch. Maybe they will, but you know, you can devil on him and put him in the defense, and he will be so annoying. Like he does so much stuff. He life steals. He steals the buffs. I mean, even strips. I mean, that's <laughs> steals the buffs. And he has like every single thing, he's tanky, you cannot cleave him, like only way it's to oblivion him, but if he procs out of oblivion, he, there you go, like he's not oblivion again, and he's really pain. If you put him on this tray, look how much HP he destroyed on everyone, it's just unreal. I pressed play here and I was like, wait, why did I press play? I could have lost this one. <laughs> Look at this, like boom and one proc and so much HP back and I I think I even unpaused this one, I mean on the, how it's called, <laughs> I click the, the play so I do it manually, okay I think I didn't but I thought of it, <laughs> it's just unreal how OP he is. Okay second attack is against Dark Siri, Chilling and Cichlid. And we used Malite like this uh, with Triana and the Windy. So the plan is simple, just uh, go AoE, provoke with the, 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 the Malite, a lot of resistance which is really nice. And we resist this also and it's easy, um, actually double provoke. <laughs> but over here I just went for S2, maybe not the best idea because he stole it. Maybe I should have gone only with S1 on uh, Chilling or Siri, but yeah, I just went with this. I just played like uh, what I felt it was right. You know, here you just want to kill this um, Siri, or 
I mean, she was really squishy, and then I continued to work on her. But you, either way, you can go for chilling, maybe. I mean, he won't deal that much damage because you're wind, but still, he has multi hit, and he's like, look at this, he even deals decent amount of damage to the wind unit, you know. But Siri, it's the most important unit to kill, and my Triana over here was kind of low HP, and uh, it was kind of, you know, um, risky, but not really. I just went again for her. S2 didn't break even the shield, and as I, I think I got lucky crit. No, it wasn't. Yep, I killed with, uh, I think, with uh, the with chilling. Yeah, and after you kill her, it's just easy match. Three versus two, and it's uh, GG. Okay, next attack was against versus uh, the same defense, and I went with uh, Fengen with Tetra and Elia. Elia is over here really good uh, for immunity. Tetra is of course good against uh, debuffs, and uh, this Liu Mei didn't had enough. Like she didn't quit. Okay. Second round, baby, bring it on. Anyways, S2, perfect S2, just to keep them. Uh, not landing those armor breaks which will de kind of devastate us and the biggest threat over here it's yeah of course it's this kiki i mean maybe i should have gone maybe for Liu Mei, maybe she's more of a threat but you know i don't like to deal with kiki and we have a lot of damage actually uh, that we dealt on kiki so i just continued to work on her and look at this every time it's the best timing ever like every time I had my S2 up or S4 with uh, Elia and this uh, this Kiki was kind of useless there. And again, after you kill Kiki, you just want to kill this uh, Liu Mei as soon as possible. By the way, you really want to avoid hitting uh, Liu Mei with your supports because that will trigger her combo wombo <coughs> and it, it will be really devastating for you. <clears throat> Actually, I want for Biang Chol for some reason, I have no idea why I did that. Why I didn't go for... Um... Yeah, now I go for her. I have no idea why I didn't attack earlier. Um... Yeah, it prob probably some brain glitch. Or here, just go for Biang Chol, yep, with supports. Uh, yep, over here I probably avoided, because I didn't have defense buff, I didn't have any damage to deal uh, to this. Uh, Liu Mei, so I went for Biang Chul, and yeah, it was kind of weird. As I'm saying, I was ill, and I didn't, I was like, yeah, look at this. And I did maybe some questionable plays, but you know, like, the last thing I wanted in the, when I w was dizzy whole day is to play Siege, but yeah, that what happens, and... Uh, Today it's Friday and it's really good um, to, to take a rest for for Monday and I think I need one or two maybe sieges uh, to be secured in squad zero. Hopefully I can manage to do it. A lot of uh, good guys are coming here so yeah maybe if I fail one or two swords I think I will get kicked but you know we move on and maybe I'll find some other guild. You know me, I'm a guild hopper, so yeah. <laughs> uh, just find something else. But you know, whatever happens, uh, I'll just continue to make content as long as everybody likes it. If nobody likes it, I just stop. Because I'm not earning fortune out of this. <laughs> I'm just doing this for entertainment for you guys, and yeah, that's it. Uh, so right now it's 3 versus 1, and it's pretty much an easy match. Is it easy match? It's versus Bank Chill. We have no destroy. Let's see. <laughs> Next attack was against Kiki. Um, that try. It's not that trade. It's better. And Narsha and we used Mirine comp. It's just f fastest Mirine. Uh, Dova on the speed up effect and uh, Ocean over here, damage dealt on dark, really important. 
and uh, additional by attack. So let's see how this, this match ends. So basically you want to boost and then boost your Lucian and kill those two uh, dark units and if you kill them uh, Nasha should be an easy food because she will go for Mirine and uh, yeah that leaves her alone nice GG okay next attack it's against Tialang, Smicer and Kiki and I used uh, Miang with pure vanilla cookie and Sonia right here so I just tested the speed before this match so I didn't I went first with Sonia, really important to test your stuff before you go into the attack. They had shield, so I was kind of skeptic, but I got 81k, which is more than enough. And second one, you want really to attack this, you know, to kill this Feng, I mean, um, Tianlang, which, which is really annoying. And S1, I think I went for S1, yep, didn't get a crit, but with another S1, with whoever else, it's just an easy match. But I was kind of skeptic, I was like, maybe is this will be kind of, you know, I really wanted to freaking uh, believe on him, but we got second uh, skill and that got a kill, nice, GG. Next attack was against Biangchul, um, Kraka and this uh, water girl, which I don't know the name, Eivor, the water Eivor, and I just used this classic team uh, with Feng Yang, Leo, and uh, and Elia. Um, most of the time, I don't take my damage Leo into this. I always take um, Tanky Leo, which is on double shields, just to prevent any damage. But we are against a double. I mean, one wind and one water, and they won't um, target us unless we are defense broken. Yep, unless we we are defense broken. But we have Elia, and after the first turn, it's gonna be not that uh, hard. Yeah, like this Kraka was kind of annoying, but she's kind of squishy since she's on crit rate slot four, and it's pretty much an easy food for this Fang Yang. Anyways, after you kill Fang Yang, you really want to kill this Byung Chul because he will always. Um, He'll be kind of annoying, you know, creating your units, but we dealt a lot of damage actually. And over here, I just autoed and selected on this water Eivor because he will die to the dots. And Eivor, it's just useless. 1v3, nice GG. And yeah, here is my second loss <laughs> it's basically Galleon Tiana with Chang Pang. You maybe think, oh, he probably didn't uh, land the defense bricks. No, I did land the defense bricks, but they're probably really heavy on minus wind. Probably they thought of uh, like anti lucianing I'm not sure if this is the same defense. Anyways, I went S2 for uh, this uh, girl and I was like, wait, that didn't deal a lot of damage. And look at this. Beta didn't get her attack increased. I mean, uh, cooldown. By the way, if I attacked um, Tetra and Proct over here, I could have, uh, yep, I could have probably win easily. And this one didn't even uh, strip the Tetra. And look at this, like how can I lose this one? But here is how. After she revives the unit, he gets a lot of the attack bar actually. And I went S1 and if that critted, I could have uh, won probably. And over here, you know what, this is, oh yeah, yeah, I went for Kiki, yeah, yeah, I still went for Kiki, look at this, she's 1 HP, and the glancing hit, and this was like, oh, really off, and I was like, oh, I cannot, even if I go S2, I have slow, and I cannot outpace uh, the Kiki, so I really needed to do the S3, and there's no way I need to, like, I can use something else. Maybe I'm thinking, if I used S1 and then like push back and then S1 defense breaks and then kind of outlap her, but I cannot, I'm just slow. Yeah, I thought of this like, yep, I can make maybe yeah, next turn and I didn't get it and she get the proc and that's it. 
anyways we, we move on from that loss <laughs> so over here we just play against some weird uh, defenses which is Ciara with uh, water Ezio and uh, Faye and I use my Madeline cookie with Kabila and uh, Lucian yeah maybe not the best offense because if they have crazy crazy fast runes look at this full attack bar of this Ezio he's probably really fast and swift but somehow I outsped it and uh, after you uh, outsped it it's just uh, easy match nice GG I was lucky there <laughs> and next attack was the same offense again versus this defense because uh, the tower just opened and it was again the same defenses and uh, I just used the same offense so yeah Again, if they're anti Lucian, it's gonna be pretty tough. They're all violent, I think. Or this is a really slow Ezio on Swift. Probably violent build and uh, pretty much easy food for, for Lucian. <laughs> nice GG. And this was the last attack. You may see, like, why is this offense so weird? It's not that weird, actually. You have anti crit, uh, you have uh, speed buff, you have double water, which is really decent against this team, and you have wind unit that can uh, take this uh, thesarion so i used vigor like this really fast actually uh, with uh, camilla and uh... okay the next attack it's against tianlang uh, water Eivor and uh, Thessarion and I used uh, Vigor with Camilla and uh, Riley you may see that this is kind of weird team but it's not that weird actually you have speed buff you have the uh, anti crit you have uh, two water units that can deal with those stuffs and you have a lot of sustain with Vigor Camilla and Riley again a pretty uh, safe team in my opinion this is the Riley and Vigor, I cannot show again uh, Camilla, which she's on defense. And uh, yeah, we moved first because he really fast uh, base speed of Vigor. And uh, yeah, uh, he actually stripped and defense breaks my Camilla, which is kind of like she's on half HP, close to half HP on the first turn. I was really like, oh, wait, man. <laughs> and I uh, just went for this. Not a lot of the damage actually from the Vigor. He's actually on damage dealt, I mean, damage taken from water and additional by speed and HP, but not a lot of the damage. But you know, we don't need that much damage from him. Look at this, actually, that scared me because this Thessarion was pretty mad, dude. Like, he's probably on crit damage, in my opinion, and really fast. That's why he's dealing a lot of damage on my. Um, Look at this, I'm even on minus uh, fire and he's dealing a lot of damage. He's probably even on uh, damage dealt on the wind. And yep, I just went for uh, this Eivor. Just heal up, take it slowly. This is the last attack, I really need to secure my wins. And the uh, next sieges will be really tough because we, uh, I think we won this siege, yep and we will be maybe second place <laughs> we basically won every single siege i think from the start and it's kind of you know uh, on the trials you don't want this hard <laughs> to be but you know bring it on and let's see how this goes and we just we will continue to play siege i guess and do the content yep okay guys this was the map after that attack uh, here is the standings, uh, 126, 20, uh, 57 swords and over here 51, we pretty much won over uh, here and uh, this is my defense actually, not working the best, <laughs> yep, a lot of losses though, back in Zaxcro club uh, I have some wins, I had a lot, uh, uh, around 8 wins from that uh, defense from for the Carcano and Camilla, but probably people find the counters and yeah uh, I mean, let's see the end map and let's see the rewards. Okay, so we got 336 crystals followed by 926 uh, guild points with head in and the end map we won uh, SLA's second and Nefarious 2 uh, 
third place. Pretty chill siege, nothing like crazy, in my opinion. Maybe there were some cl crazy plays, but you know, I was like, I didn't even watch the map whole day, so yeah, maybe there was some crazy stuff going on, but have no idea. And over here, I just bought some water scrolls because you know that we want that bulwark Shizuka, we want those units, and we want third Camilla, yeah. <laughs> and I uh, got the lightning, I put my hope up, but you know, nothing happened. Even now, like it's the day uh, after this siege, and I still didn't get any net five. Hopefully, soon I will get it, but you know. What happens happens and thank you for watching guys i'll see you next time bye bye oh anyways one more legendary i bought and we got lucian <laughs> pretty good ending yep thank you for watching guys